Hello, welcome to this video. Today, I'm happy to introduce our new open source project called DevOps GPT, which combines DevOps and AI. This is a chatbot and this chatbot can answer simple questions, but its main feature is generating templates, okay? It's able to generate different types of templates, such as Helm chart templates, Trawform templates, and so on. You just need to tell it what you need, and then you will receive a template to, you, to use in your infrastructure. For example, if you want to deploy your AWS resources within your infrastructure, you just need to provide your needs, and based on your needs, you will receive a template to use. Okay? If you want to install this chatbot application within your environment, you will have two different choices. The first one is using Docker Compose, and another one is Helm. If you're planning to install this application within your Kubernetes environment, your choice can be Helm. And if not, you can use Docker Compose instead. Okay? I already cloned this repository, so I go to my terminal, and here, I type docker compose op d. It creates two different containers as well as a network. Okay? I go back to my browser and I type localhost. Yeah, this is the interface of our application. If I click on DevOps Hobbies, you can see that we have different sections here. For example, basic and bug fix, where you can provide your questions related to TRO4. Okay, or Terraform template and Helm template, where you where you can uh, provide your needs, and based on your needs, you receive a Terraform template or a Helm chart template. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna focus on Terraform template, so I click on it, and right now it supports Docker for creating uh, images and containers, and also AWS resources such as EC2, S3, and IAM. And also, we support Argus City at this point to create Argus City applications, Argus City private repositories, and so on. Okay. Um, today, I will show you how it works. Okay. For this demo, I chose the EC2 service. We currently support KeyPair, Security Group, AWS Instance, and AMI from Instance. Okay. You just need to pick the resources you want to include in your infrastructure, in your setup, and the app will handle the rest. For this, for this example, I just click on Security Group and AWS Instance to be included within my uh, setup, within my infrastructure, okay? So now I click on Generate button. Okay, it returns a message generated successfully, and also a zip file has been downloaded. My Trawform underline EC2. The service that we used was EC2, therefore, the name of the file is my Trawform underline EC2.zip as well. So if I open it, you can see um, a modular Trawform structure here, okay? But before talking about its content, uh, I also want you to know that you're also able to access to these generated files through the repository as well. If I go back to the terminal, uh, this is our repository actually, and when I go to app media, we have a directory here called my Trawform. I open it. You can see all generated files here as well. So, whenever you make a request through generate button, first of all, it removes the previous template and replace, rep replace it with a new one, okay? So, these are all generated files from the latest um, generation, okay?
So overall, you're able to access to the generated files through the zip file that has been downloaded or this path, my trial form within our GitHub repository. Okay. So now let's dive deeper into these files. The first file is root main.tf. It has a provider block. The region is used S1. You can change it if you want. And a module block, a source parameter, which is responsible to call EC2 module. And also, these are all EC2 module parameters, and you can override them if you want. Okay? So uh, it means that you can override them through um, the root instead of modifying the module itself. Okay? If you want to override any of these parameters, you can do that through modifying transform the TF vars here. Okay? These are all default key value pairs, actually. Um, the key point here is this key pair create is false because we didn't select key pair okay therefore it's false but security group create is true because we selected security group here and also we uh, we selected aws instance therefore instance create is true but AMI from instance create is false because, because we didn't select it, okay? So, um, this determines whether the resources will be deployed in your infrastructure or not. I handled these conditions in the modules main.tf file using the count parameter, okay? So, when I go to modules directory, we have a file here as well called main.tf. If I open it, we have four different resources related to uh, AWS EC2. The first one is AWS key pair, and it has a parameter called count. And var if var key pair create is true, it will be applied and it will be deployed. Okay. But for now, key pair create is false. So this resource won't be deployed. But AWS security group is true before it will be deployed. Okay. And AWS instance is true. So it will be deployed as well. Okay. So um, when I go to the root of this structure, we have a main.tf. And you can override any EC2 modules parameters through transform.tf variants. Okay? But for now, it's good. So I type transform in it. And I type transform plan. And yeah, as you can see here, two resources will be added, AWS instance and AWS security group, because we just selected these two resources here, okay? So now I can type transform apply. And I typed yes. Okay, so now two resources added to my AWS infrastructure. So let's go to our Amazon dashboard here. So now I click on EC2 and I'm looking for security groups. I click on it. And yeah, our new security group has been added. Its name is my underlined roles and it has two inbound roles. HTTP and SSH. Very good. Let's go back to instances section here. 
to see the new instance to see its details as well. So I click on it. If I scroll down here and if I click on security, yeah, you can see that my underlined role security group has been attached to this instance. It's very, very good. So overall, you're able to uh, provide your needs based on these options here. And then you will receive a zip file, which, uh, which is a template actually. And also you can override any parameters through terraform.tfrs if you want to customize it. Okay. Very good. It was the first video uh, related to DevOps GPT chatbot. In the next videos, I'm going to talk about um, the other services and templates of this application. So um, actually, don't forget to support this video. This project is it's an, in um, early stages and your support can help us expand its functionality. And if you're interested in contributing to this open source project, feel free to reach out to me through email or my LinkedIn page, which is linked in the video description. So thank you very much. And I hope you like it and see you soon.